Andy and Sabrina find themselves having to compete with workplace rivals while Danny betrays Karen in favor of Zach and Fatima. That's the episode synopsis for Tyler Perry's Sister, Season 7, Episode 4. The name of the episode will be Death Becomes Them, and it will air January 24, 2024. Okay, so first of all, the person being wheeled out is going to be the man. Looks like it's going to be the man. We don't know until we see the episode, but from the looks of it, it's going to be that man, Mr. Leland, I want to say. That's what she called him. But yeah. <laughs> Look, he was talking to us to this girl. And then next thing though, looked like he had a heart attack. I said, well, he didn't get to snitch. He didn't get to say all those horrible things he said about this girl. But yeah, on the trailer. And it's telling Fatima that um, they look for somebody to manage the firm. And Fatima says if they play their cards right, then it'll be her. It'll be Andy. Sabrina and her co-worker battling for a position at the bank. I guess a promotion or something like that. I said, in that case, I don't know what promotion it is, but I said, I might as well let her keep a job if it's the assistant. Because remember, uh, they said she got demoted, if I'm not mistaken. Hayden says, help me destroy Andy Barnes. Pam tells Karen that Zach will have no choice but to come up off that child support check. Penelope sees some documents. She going through some documents or whatever. Look like in uh, Gary's office, and she calls Andy. Danny tells Zach to demand Karen get another DNA test. Hayden tells Gary, I keep you out of federal prison and you help me destroy Andy Barnes. And they make a deal, basically. Looks like Fatima saw what Hayden was uh, working on because he had, I guess he dropped some papers or something. But she had it and he took it from her or whatever. And she tells him that he ain't slick. She knows what he up to. And I said, look, I was saying he's changed. He ain't changed, especially now with Tamara being back. But okay, y'all. So who, whoever said that the betrayal is going to be about the DNA test, y'all right. That's going to be the betrayal. Um, him telling, I mean, Danny telling Zach to demand another DNA test. I said, well, why would that be a betrayal? Danny been saying it. Danny been steady saying <laughs> Look, when they was at the doctor's office, she was like saying it. I mean, she been very vocal about that. I don't view that as betrayal. I definitely don't view that as betrayal because, look, we shouldn't be still talking about this dog on DNA test. Anyway, common sense should tell these people go get a D, that he should go get one and he should actually provide his dna because he hasn't done it so i was like why would that be a betrayal i guess because she's talking about it behind her back i don't know at this point but yeah based on the synopsis y'all know they said that uh danny betrays karen in favor of zach and fatima but that ain't betrayal we all want to know who that is but pam over here hyping karen head up talking about some um zach was, look like she reading something look like karen's reading something i don't know what it is but she's i need to go back and see um did she have on that black uh shirt or whatever that she had on when she go to Zach door and said she had a DNA test did. This what I need to go see. But yeah, Pam tells Karen that Zach will have no choice but to come up off that child support check. I don't know if that discussion comes from something that happened. I don't know if it comes from, you know, the fact that Karen's struggling. She's struggling to pay everything. And Pam trying to tell her to get Zach's help or whatever. But I said the fact that they dragging this, the fact that they keep on saying how Zach the father, the fact that Zach keeps saying he the father or whatever, or he wants to be the father, I think that he's not the father too. I got to get on y'all training for the, all the people that said, uh, that he's not going to be the daddy. That's what it looked like, y'all. Now, I don't know how they're going to spin this. They said that Aaron was on set filming, so we'll see if he coming back. But, yeah, Danny's supposed to be telling Zach on next week's episode. It look like, is they at the airport? She's saying go to Karen and demand that another DNA test get done or whatever. Look, he, he's so against it. Does he feel like he ain't the father or something? He's so against it or whatever. I said, I think he just got excited about the idea. I think Michael helped him to get on board because at first he had his doubts too or whatever but i want to know why hayden is going out the end is that because uh is that because he want the spot because you know her and fatima's what we talking about they want looking for somebody to marry the firm and he want their position i mean it's in the synopsis kind of they say andy and sabrina find themselves competing with workplace rivals so get so uh Look, I be getting these folks mixed up. Hayden is uh, Andy's rival, and the lady, I still ain't got her name yet, but I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you one of these days. They rivals. They both in a position, I guess, to be uh, promoted or whatever. I said, look, might as well keep Sabrina with that position if it's the assistant. Wasn't she the assistant manager? I don't think she was the manager manager. I don't know. But, yeah, Hayden, t- Hayden is telling Gary on both trailers that uh, he'll help him stay out of jail or whatever, stay out of prison. If he helps him to destroy Andy Barnes. But then they still show Gary in the... That hasn't happened yet where Gary is in the car with the weapon. So I want to see what happens. He ain't going to do nothing. He ain't going to bust a great... What they say? <laughs> but yeah, um, also, I think the last thing is uh, Penelope. 
Penelope goes through Gary's paperwork. I wonder if she going to see that stuff about her life insurance or is it something else? But yeah, she going through the documents and she ends up calling in and saying everything's not okay or whatever. I said, what did she see exactly? I said, look, what did he do? I said, Gary been using these women. He been using them. Of course he been using them, but he been playing them and he been using them. That's what I say. But I think that's everything that they show so far, y'all. But yeah, what are y'all thoughts? Comment down below. Stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the night and be safe.